<laughs> that's what we missed last week. That wop on. That's your new shit. <laughs> that's my new shit. Well, that's Atlas's right. new shit. I don't know what that is, but it's your new shit. <laughs> we we'll miss that. Yeah, Atlas it's like a wop wop thing. I don't know. What I don't know what that is. is. I don't know. Okay. It just I mean, comes out naturally. You know what I mean? Anyway, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Blab Chat episode. You just told me. And I forgot. 84. 84. 84. <laughs> I was like, 84. As John what episode was before we started. <laughs> episode 84. <laughs> the, so age, the, age, um, the age of a lot of. Um, uh, grandmothers and grandfathers and billionaires. Mm. billionaires billionaires you know the day we crack a hundred it, it's wow. gonna feel like it's gonna be pretty new... lit wow yeah it's gonna, it's gonna be, be pretty gonna be like it's gonna be like Black Chat's birthday or something it's like that it's gonna be a yeah. new like leaf a... being turned over it'll like be a new hundreds. leaf it'll be actually uh, it'll <laughs> be what, if we're doing four episodes per month that'll be like winter time mm-hmm. next year Mm-hmm. Yeah, Little like a sheet. February, I think, right? Mm. But anyway, welcome to Blab Chat. Uh, I'm your host, Ill Mind. Um, this is a music production, music creation podcast. We like talking our shit on here. Um, uh, very informative stuff. I'm here with my co host They're amazing. What up, it's Glam. Glam's here. Mm. That's all I can say. <laughs> I laugh every time we have to introduce ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I know we do. But it's perfection. <laughs> it's perfection. Uh, yeah, you know. Hey. Atlas the plug, nice to meet you. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that way. No, that that way does that when I talk. That way deserved a fart. It is funny, though. It's it's funny. It's funny because though. it reminds me of like when he used to always say, um, you, you just had like rice and beans. Oh, yeah, yeah, so of course. So you're just like fucking it's farting up a storm. It's hilarious. The, it's the really listeners hilarious. love it. They're like, you guys, like, you guys, they always tell us we're like hilarious. So they funny. love it. So I think we're officially exiting uh, Virgo season. Boo. Right. Ah. right. Right. Finally. Right. No, I'm kidding. This shit is yeah. over. But it's Libra season, and Haters. I like Libra. It's still. It's uh, who's the Libra? It's always very good. My mom. I don't know. Oh, okay, so your mom's Libra. Yeah, yeah there's just some Libras mm-hmm. out there. Yeah, some cool Libras. Yeah. So, um, shout out to all the Libras out there. Um, shout out to all the cool ones. Yeah, man. Uh, man, it's. I feel like it's actually has been forever since the four of us have been together. Facts. Mm-hmm. Right? It's only it's been, been two weeks. weeks. No, it's been more than. Oh that. no, that's right. It's the last one. Yeah, that's right. About a month. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Shit, man. Um, Glam, you mentioned something earlier. I want to come up. Uh, it was about um, the the lawsuit stuff. Cease and desist. The cease and desist are yeah. happening, and uh, it's pretty bizarre. Um, it's happening. It's real. Yeah, it's a thing now. Where I feel like now artists are not artists, but I guess even whether it's the artist or the team, people are seeking like legal action towards their intellectual yeah. property rights type thing. So yeah. one that's coming up right now is, the first one was uh, Travis Scott and Frank Ocean. Yeah, man. The song was called Circus, Yeah, Yeah, what, 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 what happened with that? Yeah, what allegedly what I read, and you know, anybody can correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. I read this article that said that basically they had did the song together and there were some changes that Frank Ocean didn't approve of. Mm-hmm. So by the time the record was out, there was really nothing he can do. Yeah. Um, but he still, um, whether it was him or his team, they issued the cease and desist. And I don't know what actually happened with it, but it was the article did mention that if he was to pull his vocals off of the song, it would be a different, completely different. Well, not beside it being uh, completely different. That was the only number one, probably since his own, that mm-hmm. he was on. Uh, so to pull him from that he would lose that stat as okay. well that's crazy but I think for Frank Ocean being the artist he is I don't think he cares about right. um, that yeah, type of right. shit honestly I think yeah. he, if he did then he wouldn't be filing it all after the fact so that the album was right. out you know? did they pull it I'm not sure if they did but it's mm. really hard when you do that it's, with albums right yeah I mean can. it's it's difficult to say it's like case by case but I think uh, I read somewhere that they like spoke about it and and like Frank it was never like a thing where Frank wanted him to like remove it but I think the confusion comes from like people just make stories up like these people a lot of times with like the lawsuits and stuff that's just like labels and legal and yeah and and attorneys like going at each other but like people have no idea what the behind the scenes <laughs> shit like goes down you know what mm-hmm. i mean like a lot of these guys are some some of them are like cool and they don't really care and then you know if you're a mega star um and you have you know you're responsible for feeding you know 20 to 30 people if someone has an issue they're not always gonna like run it by you you mm-hmm. know what i mean like your attorney might 
take initiative and say, okay, this is, this doesn't look right. I'm going to go ahead and take initiative and like speak on your behalf. Mm -hmm. And like, you could just be fucking vacationing somewhere. And Mm -hmm. then all of a sudden there's news out that like you're hating on this person, Mm -hmm. but like people just make shit up. So I don't know. I think like, you know, for the longest time there's, there's always been this like thing where, you know, people are like, you know, don't believe everything you see on the news and stuff like Mm -hmm. that. But which is like true and you you see it more and more now with social media but i just think people who aren't in the industry have no idea yeah. what's going on oh, yeah. mm-hmm. no not at all it's like, like yeah no idea yeah go ahead. it's like the saying exactly what mm-hmm. you said the saying uh believe half of what you see and none of what you hear right. yeah in the music industry because you can see it with your own eyes but yeah. it might not be My, real and i'm not saying i'm not see. saying like uh, uh, I'm not saying everything is like negative and bad. No, 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 absolutely. Like, no, no, oh, no, no, there's no. like fake rumors and stuff. But like, I'm just saying like, you know, when you see an album, like people thought Wayne's album was dropping last week. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Wayne, first of all, because if you're oh, listening to wait. this, you probably heard it and it's fire. <laughs> Carter five out now. But, you know, people thought it was coming out last week. But like someone made that up. They mm-hmm. were like, yeah, it's dropping. Yeah. And like he never said anything. And then people will just make stuff up like, Mm -hmm. oh, Wayne, like, doesn't want us to have it or he's not ready or you have no fucking clue. No idea. Mm -hmm. That guy probably (sighs) doesn't even know him. Yeah. Came out the world like, oh, you know, I mean, yeah, Yeah. it's crazy, man. But I just want to I just want to put that out there. Like, don't you can't really believe everything you see. And, you know, Mm -hmm. obviously all of us have experienced that at at some point, like, uh, Mm -hmm. Avian, I'm sure with you, like at um at Engine Room, like seeing all the traffic coming in and out, you know, and like seeing certain uh uh like a list artists coming in and out and having sessions and stuff. You you like I know you're not gonna like say anything about that stuff because it's like private, but I'm sure you see some shit where it's like, oh okay, that's why people are saying this because. I just saw it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see things and you hear things. You know what I mean? The inside is completely (coughs) different than Mm -hmm. what people see, you know, like on a TV screen or, you know, on a on a caption or whatever. So I've, you know, definitely seen and heard. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, it sucks. I mean, yeah. Glam has some behind the scenes stories. Oh, yeah. oh, you guys would only knew. <laughs> like, your favorite artists are like. fucking weird. Yeah. You know? Your that favorite rappers are weird. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's they just are, they're human, bad but they're habits. mean. Yeah. Yeah. They're Assholes. weird. Mm-hmm. People that you were like, oh my God, I, I can't wait to meet this person. I've met that person. And I tell you what, <laughs> you don't want to meet them. Yeah. Just keep listening to the music. Mm-hmm. It's some people I, li- I met, I don't listen to their music anymore. Right. Because I wasn't able to detach from that moment. Like, damn, mm-hmm. you was kind of a bitch. Yeah. So I don't right. really want to listen the way I was supporting you. Yeah. Like, I, And these people are like real yeah. support. You come over so humble. Yeah. And I think people just forget because they've been in it so long. And they're like, oh, yeah, great. Like, so, yeah, great. You love mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I don't know. Do that's, you see yourself getting tired? Do you see yourself getting tired of that? Do you see yourself as a person like that's on? This is everybody at the table. Do you see yourself as being on and like just... Somebody run it up to you and you're just like, ugh, no time. Studio at six. Where's my coffee and my frappe? Like, honestly, it are de- you going to feel like it depends. it depends? It depends on the approach. I would like to say I wouldn't, but everybody's yeah. entitled to a bad day. It depends, but not even bad day. I think like, you know, when you when you reach a certain level and you have a lot of people I thought you were like smacking a bitch it was a fly <laughs> not, not I was you trying obviously smack, I was trying to curve the fly like, away really yeah, like, whistle, no like, I won't take a picture them. I didn't want to bitch when slap her I was trying to get the when yeah. you kind of reach a certain level you do have so many requests you know what I mean it's kind mm-hmm. of like oh, think yeah. of it now mm-hmm. like I'm sure you know we all get a lot of emails like listen to my music listen yeah. to this check yeah. this out mm. tweets and you're just like I can't really sit here and like listen to everything yeah. although I would love to help everyone and yeah. give you feedback like one it's impossible and two like I just have and shit then, to do and yeah. then even if you do get it then what it's like yeah send it over like yeah. okay you'll send it to me I got it then what I might listen to it but and like what do you like want it. me to do mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, and it's, then like, it's like people will be like, even in the street, like you've seen stories of like, oh yeah, they didn't take a picture with a fan. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just saw Cardi B that happened to her. Like, it, I think it all it, is situational. Like if it you're really is. in a rush and you just stopped and like took pictures with like 15 yep. people, people, like if I, you're never going to get to your I've destination two, or do. Yeah. And the approach. You know I, mean? I think and it's the approach. The approach. Yeah, and like I've heard how two approach. bad stories on celebrities. Mm-hmm. Two bad ones. One was Justin Bieber. Mm-hmm. So it was like at some charity event. This is like, where are you now era uh, like you know that R- Ronda Rousey oh yeah brought her, I love her niece to meet him and she said she didn't even care to go out of her way but she was like shit I guess I'm kind of I got a little name like I'm let Ronda me Rousey, you know yeah, she yeah. wants yeah. to meet him like let me bring him over or else he puts him in an arm yeah. bar or something yeah so yeah. she walked up on him like hey can I get a picture mind you I guess he had taken like mad pictures and he was like I literally just took like thousands of pictures and then he looked at them again he said thousands and he walked away so i mean it is what it is it is what it is where it's just like shit that he's a human too Mm -hmm. but it is like an an approach thing too like i don't know i I don't maybe because when when the when the fans come more by the dozen you probably don't feel as bad like turning away one fan Mm -hmm. but in the moment where you're like humble you can't even imagine like turning away that one exactly also too i think it just depends on the person some people like being out there some Mm -hmm. people love the attention Mm -hmm. and then they get to the point where there's too much of it and then they have right. to fall back. And then I think right. there's also people you know? that are like, sure, oh, you want a picture too? Sure. Yeah, like, right. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Photo. But there's other people that are like, like Wiz will take okay. pictures with the paparazzi. Right. Yeah. Wiz will take pictures with the paparazzi where we got like, time, we got time, but then I also feel like somebody who probably asked for all the attention that was probably like, whoa, I can say that like maybe for Cardi B. I don't mm-hmm. think that she expected so much and mm-hmm. I remember I felt a little bad because I was like I read the article where like this girl went to take a picture she wasn't feeling her look she had a wig on she wasn't feeling herself that day so she said no I don't want to take the picture oh you fake ass bitch mm. you this and you that da, 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 da. it's like come on what a you, little what, bit what mm-hmm. do you guys think about people that say well then you shouldn't have gotten this in this. you shouldn't have wanted to That's be famous not fa- it, it's yes it's what you signed up for but then where's the line of like you being a human because even down walking down the street like I'm sure perfection gets it a lot of my homegirls get it just you walk down the street and everybody's bothering you everybody's staring at you yeah. everybody oh, wants to talk to, me to every you day. so that's what I'm saying I I it ha- so me not feeling like I'm the like famous at all right, it's yeah. like when you get bother- bothered yeah. already on a day to day basis it stops being a celebrity thing real it's quick it's like yeah. I'm a human don't yep. stare at yeah. me like mm-hmm. that yeah even like, like mm-hmm. me sometimes somebody would uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's I, why, I that's why know people that could... reach reach like a, a high level of uh, popularity, they you know they, they go don't... through shit. They yeah. Yeah. they end up, mm-hmm. you know, I don't want to say, but they end up, uh, you know, substance abuse, yeah. and depression, mm-hmm. like all that stuff's mm-hmm. real. Because like you can't even walk out in public anywhere. You can't anymore. deal with it. You, you know, just imagine that. And you know, as and you guys as females, you deal with like the fucking people on the street Mm -hmm. like just hollering Mm -hmm. just not you know like not even living your life i wish men can trade with women just for yeah i want to be like damn that ass looking fat boy yeah (laughs) been that ass somewhere let me get that i think i tweeted something today like i'm glad i never dated a guy that just chilled in the corner like like i'm literally walking to the train this morning and you guys see me dress i'm like in leggings and a jacket Um, my ass isn't out nor my tits nothing nothing and he's like hey and I'm crossing the street and he's still like he could be in a garbage bag they'd be like queen queen and then another guy (laughs) I'm like walking and then I see from the corner of my eye this kid on the street riding his bike the same direction as me but like I see that we're like literally going at the same pace oh god yeah so like he's just going at my it's, pace see, and then I turn yeah. and see, I, I stare guys at him. That's, to deal with that's that. interesting. Yeah. Because like I give him just like a nasty look like. That's interesting because that's finger. similar to like, all right, we had this conversation last week and at, you were in here so mm-hmm. I want your take, but we we're talking about like, I think we were talking about last week, but one of the episodes, the idea of like, you know, when you're networking with someone and you want something from someone mm-hmm. and like, you know, when you reach a certain level, everyone's just like, they want something mm-hmm. from you. Like, oh my God, can you do this? Listen to my music. Listen to this, this, mm-hmm. this, this. And when you get to that point where you're on the receiving end of that, where people are just asking you yeah. all the time and people just want stuff from you, it, the it, it's almost similar to what you guys experience mm-hmm. on the street mm-hmm. with the random fucker 
hollering like, yo, what's up, show? All right, Ma, fuck you then. Right. I yeah. mean, it's it's pretty much, it's, it feels very similar because you want something from me mm-hmm. and you're being, you're, you're basically like forcing your way into like engaging with me. And now you're, you're, you're forcing me to have to either deal with it or ignore it. You mm-hmm. want me to right? smile. And yeah, you want me to smile. And like as a celebrity or as someone of interest, when you, when you ignore it or when you, you know, reply in like a way where you're like, nah, like I just don't want to, mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you're the bad guy. Mm-hmm. And I just, I don't think that's fair for the, the receiving end, mm-hmm. you know? Um, mm-hmm. And, and you, you just have to be mindful of that. It's like, so I think that's a, that's a good lesson to, to kind of like learn and think about is like, all right, if I, you know, if I'm a, a rapper and I want to get the attention of like a producer, what can I do strategically? How can I approach that person to get what I want and also, you know, give them what they might want to, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100%. You know, I think, um, you know, we've talked about this a million times, but the best way to engage, in my opinion, um, if you're looking to engage with an artist or, you know, someone you're trying to network with or or whatever it is, someone that has something that you want, let's just say, is, and you know, and Il said it this a million times is just treat it like you would if you were trying to pick up a girl or pick up someone you like, you <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? You're not going to go in there mad, hungry, like, yeah. yo, what Thirsty. up? What you doing? Yo, come over here. Let me take you. Like, you're not going to do that. You know, you're going to be yo, what's like, good? let me get in the booth. Let me get yo, that beat. Up? Yo, yo, let me holler at you. <laughs> well, that's what this, what it is, dog. Right. Just tweeted about that. Mm-hmm. I said, business, mm-hmm. doing business is a lot like dating. Yep, I think 100%. people don't really realize that when you mm-hmm. want to work with somebody yeah. it's like y'all link you're supposed to vibe yep. you're like supposed to like yeah. you guys are flirting with each other right that exactly point. And it's like okay exactly. are we gonna do something we're gonna yeah. do business together mm-hmm. okay we're gonna like do this you're building the, the trust yeah. thing. and you know i no one's perfect like you're not gonna bat a thousand every hey. time exactly you know what you i'm gotta saying hit a, um, can i please <laughs> <laughs> listen no one's you're not perfect. gonna you're not gonna bat a thousand every time and i think <laughs> the ones who force themselves in I'm, and I'm also talking to guys that holler at you guys too, and all the women out there. It, it's because they're just insecure about themselves. Mm-hmm. They're they're yeah. afraid to they're afraid of rejection, so they force their way in mm-hmm. to get what they want because they're really just big pussies. If you're afraid, Man, then like, why are you even talking? We're gonna to me, need Iyanla fix my life on this bitch because you know what I'm I feel like there's so many other reasons as to why. Yeah, like why are you telling me that? to smile? I think it's, and, a, fr- like, I think it's a fear of rejection. I think it's fear of rejection. I think it's also. Um, <laughs> We could get real, like we could get real. Attention, real. attention too. I think attention. it's, I think things. it's, you know, it's um for some people it's a, a fear of rejection, and mm-hmm. I think a lot of people also it's it's attention. an attention thing. Mm-hmm. I think there are a lot of people mm-hmm. out there that probably, you know, what I've learned, you know, in my um, path of growing as a <laughs> woman in person, which has been very difficult in the last year, <laughs> um, but in learning myself and other people, like just people in general, right? Because it, I've I've learned to understand people by understanding myself. Like, oh, I went through this, you know. So that's how it affects me. And I look at people that way too. Like, they're mm-hmm. you know, everyone comes from something, their own experiences, yep. whether good or bad. So we learn from that. We become, you know, we grow from that or whatever. And mm-hmm. I think a lot of people have other issues like fear of rejection, like yep. you know, a need for attention. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, there's a lot that stems from all that shit. But it's like. You got to fix your issues at the end of the day. It's yep. funny. If, when you when you see the person who's the loudest, which is usually the guy who's like, yo, ma, you, go, you know, all that whistling. <laughs> while they're doing that, if you watch them on like they're looking around, we've seen everyone look at them because they want to be known as like the guy that who's guy. the manly man who's who's perceived to be the, the you know, like the macho, dog. Yeah, yeah. And the macho the thing. Man. You know what I'm saying? So they're like looking around to see who's looking at them because they want to just get more attention, you know, and have other guys like, I guess, respect them or something. But it's lame. Super lame. It's, yeah, it's so super many, lame. It's so many reasons why people act the way they yeah. act. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has a story. But at the end of the day, it's just, yeah, yeah I'm, don't I, be you, pushy. Don't be pushy. No matter yeah. in business, I'm, I'm just very, in relationships. I'm, I'm just confused and fascinated at the idea that people aren't reading self-help books more. Mm -hmm. I think that's all I kind of read between like Mm -hmm. production and creativity and like self-help. 
Yeah, like, and not self help, like, oh, uh, you know, self help in a way where, like, you're, you know, reading up on information on why human beings, um, you know, act a certain way, why he, why certain human beings are, why we're attracted to certain things and why we're not. And that, I mean, that's like gold. Why you that's, work a certain way and mm-hmm. why you don't. Yeah, the small little thing. <clears throat> Everything. What do you have to figure out? You have to unlock the human brain. Mm hmm. If you want to unlock how to get rich yep. from other human beings, like yes, why fact. would you not unlock the science of the person that's cutting you the check? Yep. You're unlo- uh, you, instead you're uh, you're trying to unlock like Instagram and Facebook and like Facebook ads. I'm not saying that stuff's not good. Like mm-hmm. that has its place too. Everyone's caught up in like how many how do I get likes and how do I mm-hmm. get this? You need to fucking figure out human beings. Mm-hmm. Like, figure out the person that's going to cut you the check and mm-hmm. why they think that way. Why they're <clears throat> why? How or can also, you get that person? You or know? Also, why you're so focused on social media and not focused mm-hmm. on learning more about your craft? Or you know what I mean? What What are the bad habits that you have that yep. are preventing you from being where you can be? Because I yeah. think everybody, you know has certain things that they can change to help them become better yep. and you know, some people are worse than others but yep. it's that's mm-hmm. that's the way i think you're you progress and succeed in life whether that be in friendships relationships work environments mm-hmm. career you know yeah totally sure. i have you know i have a tip for everyone who's listening and this is if you're looking to sell something right and here's just a quick little something wait it's, let me give you let me give you a sound effect yeah, for the tip uh, please. I, I have it ready here yeah. it is it. here it is Okay, so here's a little tip that I want to give people if you're looking to sell something, all right? And this is like a known thing, right? There's different There's different types of personalities. You got to do the claw. Do the claw. Yeah, the claw. This is the claw, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Click, right? So there's different kind of personalities that will engage in you more depending on how you approach them when you're selling something, right? So let's say you're a producer, okay, and you're selling your tracks or you're trying to engage with someone um, so they can purchase your material, right? The first thing you need to figure out is what type of person am I speaking to? Is this person an analytical person where I need to show him numbers, Mm -hmm. where I need to show him stuff visually? Is he that kind of person? Is it a type of person that doesn't want to run around, get straight to the point? That's kind of the person I am. Just get right to it. Like, right. just don't bullshit That's me. Just fact. let's just go. Like I okay. know you're trying to sell. Like, let's yeah. Just, yeah. yeah, let's just get to it. I know this game point. very well, but let's 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 dive right in. Is it a person who likes compliments? Now, believe it or not, there's a, such a That's thing. A fact. Okay, mm-hmm. is it someone who needs to get buttered up a little bit? Mm-hmm. You know, maybe you bring them a little present during the meeting. Maybe you come in and compliment the outfit, whatever it is, you, if you do it genuinely. And if you start engaging with people that you're trying to do business with in that matter, I know it sounds like you're like trying to beat the system or whatever, but you're just being smart about yeah. how you're approaching people. I don't see anything wrong with that. Exactly. And if you start approaching things in that manner, you'll be very surprised at the outcome that you'll get from mm-hmm. that. Yeah, like if you if you guys ever, all the producers out there, if you ever beat Hove for the first time, Compliment his shoes. Be like, yo, ho, what's up, man? Yo, those <laughs> kicks, though, man. Whoa, don't try whoa, to, Don't whoa. try to touch him, though. But. Because I've heard some people try to, like, yo. Don't talk to him. See, why, now, here's you know, the thing, though. Here's, here's, here's the thing, though, too, is if you're going to start with a compliment, and I think that's, you know, it's a good idea mm-hmm. in certain instances, you have to be very careful. Well. Because if you're starting off with a compliment right off the bat, you come across as fake. Yeah, it's true. So maybe not start off with the compliment right off the bat, you know, but if you do, you better make sure it's the most genuine. Yeah. They could see it in your eyes and your in your you know, and how you're holding yourself that you're it's really a genuine thing. And if you can execute that, you're gonna win hundred percent. Yeah. I love that. And and for those of you first of all, let's you know, you know right? Good. Um, At- Atlas um, has an extensive sales background. He's mm-hmm. like a really, really incredible salesman. And like, I noticed that you kind of implement that stuff in the industry too, like mm-hmm. like when you're networking with people and stuff. But yeah. I just think that's like invaluable right there. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, you can't just wing it. If, if you have like um, a goal in mind where you know you're going to meet someone, ha- have a game plan. Yeah. You know, and the more uh, human to human knowledge you have, and understanding of like yourself mm-hmm. and being fully aware of like your your surroundings mm-hmm. man you're just fully equipped to get what you want yep. you know or at least come close mm-hmm. what's that movie it's will smith did it um, it's like uh 
It's like a gambling movie a little bit. It was like yeah, Margot movie, Robbie. Will Smith. Um, All I have to say is I remember this particular thing. They was at a racetrack or something, hmm. and he knew who he was linking with already. And this is after they won. And the girl's like, how'd you do it? It was, was a it number. Was it Pursuit of Happiness? No, no. But it was a number. And he knew that this guy's number, he knew that it was his favorite number. So he put it up literally everywhere, all over the city. And that also reminds me of when Ryan Leslie wow. uh, made sure that that Cassie record was played everywhere yep. that Diddy was. Granted, that took probably some money and some resources, but mm -hmm. just to say the level of thought that yep. went yeah. into mm -hmm. them wanting something that badly <clears throat> where it's like, he's gonna be at these clubs, I bet if I had that shit planned, or get yeah. somebody to do that, is this? everywhere, mm -hmm. And him saying, okay, I know that this is that man's number. I'm going to make him choose that number because he's yep. been seeing it everywhere. And it worked for him. So it's kind of just like, it is a little strategic. Mm -hmm. But if you're already starting from like a genuine place, then it, it can't be that mm -hmm. bad. But right. I think you do have to be careful because you don't want to roll up on somebody. You know, you get a chance to meet with Beyonce and you're like, oh my God, I love your hair. It's like. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's phony. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, but also, <laughs> you got to be careful because you're not going to be like, Beyonce, can you listen to my mixtape? Right. Yeah. Yo, you I, know what I mean? Um, How about, I'm not going to tell <coughs> them. Compliments I'm not gonna say are who nice. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm not going to say who yeah. it was, but. Nice. If it's genuine. Absolutely. Beyonce doesn't take CDs. Like, I know I know somebody personally who tried to give her the CD. No, don't give Beyonce. Who has a CD player? Who going to put it? Who has a CD player? She's 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 got oh she's got God, she doesn't have pockets. That, first that of all. CD's going in the trash. I would never do that, but that she's would kill too me. Too high up. She's you too, can't. Why would you give her your mixtape? You can't. You, you can't thought she'd be like, all right, work. You, you can't do that. Like I, I don't know. No, I don't know, but like, I, I do love that strategy though. At least the compliment mm. strategy. I yeah. think there is like a uh, a way to do it with tact. Absolutely. You know, and like I'll Genuine. I'll just I'll just speak from like my perspective. You mm -hmm. know, like obviously I'm not Jay Z, but mm -hmm. when I meet you know people that are fans of mine, I gravitate more towards the ones who know about me mm -hmm. and the ones who are genuine about the type of impact that I made on their life. You know, mm -hmm. like when I go up to people and they're like, yo, Ill, what's up, man? Yo, I'm, I'm a huge fan, man. I love the music. I got, I love your kits, man. I listen to the podcast. Like, mm -hmm. like when you say that to me, it's like, I know that you pay attention. Exactly. And I immediately in my mind, I'm like, yeah, that's genuine because mm -hmm. why would you say that to me mm -hmm. for any other reason? Exactly. You know, and then you have other people, usually rappers. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't mean to give you that. I'm gonna say they get a horse. I, I really like rag on the rappers, on this, by the way. I don't. I love rappers, by the way. Um, Do you? I just, it's just, I just a pushy up and coming one. It's yeah, it's just about. don't it's a be. Love hate. Yeah, it's no. Just Atlas true. got hit it right on the nose. Yeah. The pushy, the pushy up and up coming rappers right. are my least favorite types of people. Right. Anyway, so you know, so the in a, as opposed to that, the rapper coming up to me and being like, mm -hmm. "Yo, ill." Yo, man, I could change. I know, I, I know you got that heat. Yo, I'm saying, yo, trust me, man. I'm like, not in the city. Tell me to trust you. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> How could I trust a man? I just met you three seconds I've ago. I've seen him in my life. <laughs> like, trust you. He was like, all right, word. <clears throat> That's what he can, expected. Can you say hello? Like, yeah. can you tell me your name? Right. Tell me your name. Mm -hmm. Tell me Start your. Tell I've me seen your, that happen a million times. That's what did you eat yesterday? Like, what did you, you eat yesterday? Yo, do you know how many people like, told me like? I get so many DMs like, "Yo, let's work." And it's just like, oh, yeah. I literally what am I supposed to do with that request? Like, dub. Yo, follow me. Dub. Yeah. Now dub. I'm like, what the fuck? Are, yeah. Who is you? You know, you know like, what's another fuck thing? you then. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, you know, when I, I blow up, fuck you. I had a follower tell me, oh, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yo, you. I don't even check my DMs, but you're thanks that for guy. listening. You're that guy hollering at Perfection and Glam yeah. Duh, when they're walking man, down the street. Yo, what's up, ma? All right, Duh. then, fuck you. You're that guy. Yeah. Don't, don't talk back, don't neither. Don't be that guy. Don't right, be that whatever. guy. I've seen the most attractive men in the street that'll be like, yo, I that's just like I'm not yeah. I don't like just stop for men you know what I mean so like if you oh, corny on, stop be like, you like you? if you corny Dang. and your approach is like yo know, like yeah. I'm not even gonna utter a word I'm just gonna no, look you don't at you look, and yeah. you're no, gonna sometimes know sometimes you can't even look at them cause yeah. once you look at them mm -hmm. the, the, the thug comes out and they're like yeah I will say this though This is, I will say this and Atlas <laughs> I want your take on this too yeah okay. being good looking mm -hmm. in the industry whether you're male or female mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
one thousand percent helps. A hundred billion and any industry, or not even just like good, just like well kept. Any industry, like, okay, if you got this a person is well about you, Any industry, either you're really pretty, or you carry yourself like to yeah. a to a degree yeah. where people are like, damn, he just yeah. he's yeah. sauced up, or yeah. like you know she might not be cute, but she has yeah. like her hair is banging all the time. Yeah. It's yes. like if you have those little things about you, people remember that. Um, but I will say, hell yeah, it works in your 100%. favor. But then yeah. it's also a hindrance too, because I know people who are also attractive who kind of get um, they the things that they do are uh, it's a blind eye or like right. no one's telling them like, yo, you you can't do that, you can't move like that, right. because oh, they so fine that nobody's been telling them this whole time. So like, why would I listen <coughs> now? And sometimes that becomes yeah. a hindrance too. Mm -hmm. So right. I feel like it obviously it works more for you. It works more in your favor to be mm -hmm. attractive in your in in whatever way that mm -hmm. is. Than to right. not, but then it's also the other part of it too, where mm -hmm. you gotta be careful because you might be getting away with a lot more right. yeah. that you don't realize you're getting away with shit that people are not supposed to be doing, yeah. and you're doing. And it, it depends yeah. too on like your specific role or field in the music industry. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, if you're a female, if you want to be a female pop singer, for the most part, you have to be super pretty, for the most part. Yeah, if you, for yeah, the most that's part, just, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, if you want to be an entertainment lawyer when you're a female and you're super pretty it could help but it could also like glam was saying people might not take you as seriously yeah, right. or they might just be trying to bang out right you know what i'm saying they're not they're just you know whatever yeah, you know what i'm saying so it kind of depends but it, I, in my opinion if i had to choose obviously i'd want to you know you want to be, be the good looking yeah. attractive side of things and you know it's i think it's my definition of like attractive and good looking is just like well kept right so yeah like exactly well kept like mm -hmm. you don't have to look you look like, at them and go you know, okay like, they got it just be well yeah, kept exactly you know so like you have, you have to look mean, trustworthy yeah yeah so if you have like no teeth you just got to make sure you fly just 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 make sure you're fly man okay yeah or or just don't talk <laughs> 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 just write everything down oh guys um <laughs> I, I don't know. I just think all these things are, are things that like we're in control of. Like mm -hmm. everyone, mm -hmm. everyone listening, you guys, like you're all in control of mm -hmm. like, you know, increasing your knowledge of how human beings think and react to use that as an advantage to meet people and network with people. Mm -hmm. Like even going back to ill, what like what we were just talking about, about the t different types of personalities that. Uh, will buy depending on how they're approached mm -hmm. you know you know like we were talking about if you see ill and you start bringing up fun you know cool things he's done the kids the podcast the placements you yeah. know his style whatever it is right if you're going to meet someone that you've never met okay if you were going to, if you all right let's put it like this if you were going to a job a nine to five job mm -hmm. right and you were going for an interview and it's this company you know know a little bit about it what's the first thing you're going to do what are you going to do? Research the company. Research the company. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's the first thing you need to do when you're going to potentially bump into or meet someone that you know is going to yeah. be somewhere that you're going to be that you're trying to get at. I know that was long. Mm -hmm. But research <laughs> them. Do your homework. Yeah. So then when you actually get that two <sighs> seconds to meet them, if you dropped something like, I don't know, like if someone saw it, it was like, yo, ew, man, that eldest sensei, man, that first pitch you on, you're yeah. like, oh, they go back. They, they know me back. from back there. See yeah. what I'm saying? That's an interesting thing that most people might not know. If they say that to me, then I'm immediately like, okay, cool. What else there's do you have to say? Like, exactly. You're there's interested. You know your Instant connection. Exactly. And that's the same approach that people have to start. You know, if you don't want to work a nine to five job, then take those things that have worked as far as like nine to five job and use that in the music industry. It's the same thing. You just got to mm -hmm. flip it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. true. It's funny. I had a session with like um I can't say who, but it was like this is mega stars, this mm -hmm. this chick, she sings. And um <laughs> there's only a few you can, you know, you can yeah. try to guess, but she sings, she's like she's a mega star, she has like smash records and stuff, and I was in the studio with her and it was our first time like really working. And um, you know, it was at first for me it was like, Okay, like I gotta really read the room and try to figure this out mm -hmm. like i'm here for a reason all this mm -hmm. stuff and i was like <clears throat> really thinking about it and and what worked for me and i really do think this can work for for anyone who's kind of caught in that situation where especially if you're a producer and you're in the studio with like a megastar for the very first time you really have to you kind of know how to maneuver and stuff mm -hmm. and and in that room i'm not even gonna lie like i was like low-key nervous at first mm -hmm. like okay i don't know this person this person and um 
you know the the when when I started like really chopping it up with her, um, my strategy in my mind was let me just talk about stuff that she wants to talk about mm-hmm. and try to figure out what she might be excited about. Mm-hmm. So first thing I asked her was like, how's the um, how's the album going? Like, mm-hmm. um, do you, you fuck with the music you're making? Like, mm-hmm. do you like the music? And that just opened up the conversation of yeah, you know, like I did this, and I was asking like, what are you know, what are some other right what are some other producers you're working with you know and just opening that up and and just figuring out like what might make them excited Mm -hmm. and and not bored and not like you know the thing that i wanted to avoid was small talk right you know no how's the weather and how you been it was like no let's cut right to the chase i'm here Mm -hmm. to work on your album how do you like your album Mm -hmm. you like oh you don't like it why not well, well, okay, cool. Well, you know, what's inspiring? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, stuff like that. So, I don't know. I, I think that's also a good strategy, right? At, 100%. Like, yeah. like I think let them tying talk. into sales. Like, mm-hmm. let, let them, them talk. Yeah, like... like Hearing provi- what they're looking for. Let yeah, provide talk. like an alley-oop of like... Uh, a con- Like, steer the conversation mm-hmm. in a way where like... You, they, you know that they're going to want to talk about right. it. Right. And literally, as you're listening to what they're telling you... I- and you're listening very intently. You look them in the eye, give them another shake in the head up and down kind of thing after they're finishing their sentences. Um, you're preparing in your head your next question you already have in your head based mm-hmm. of what they're telling you. Mm-hmm. So you're remembering it. And then after they talk, then, oh, cool, man, tell me about the, like that. What was that? You know what I mean? And you're already like, so that way it's just flowing. You're just flowing. And then you said it's no, it's not small talk. You're just digging right in, which digging is right right. awesome. Well, my question for you is, what mm-hmm. do you do when you're in a situation like that and the artist is dry? Like super quiet. Because my thing is, you could literally say things to like make a person talk. Yeah. Or like I've been, I've encountered, you know, some people or some producers where like, you know, you're just like, oh yeah, dope, and they're just like, mm-hmm. they're just not into it. Like, yeah. They're not. They're just really dry. They're I've just been like, in ah. sessions like, like that. they're just like really quiet. Right. Like, yeah. okay, yeah. or the artist is really mm-hmm. quiet. Or always on, yeah. their, on phone. their phone, yeah. and you're like, well, damn, like, are we having? I've been in sessions be, like that. Uh, it I've been in. What do when you I'm, do? do? When you I'm in call, when I'm caught up in in that kind of um, scenario, if it's a session, and I'm supposed to be there, I'll I'll leave it alone. I just I'll because there's immediately something wrong, and and to me, like I. I don't want to play the role of like opening that person up mm-hmm. and and then in, in the back of my mind I'm thinking like yeah like this person's not fun to work with I'm mm-hmm. probably not, not going to work with them, them again, again. Mm-hmm. but I'll ride this out for the rest of the day right. or the night I'll take this um, session because but... it is what it is right, but then there. after this mm-hmm. this is probably I'm not going to want to work with you again yep. so yeah I've, I've yeah. seen that firsthand. I remember I'm not going to say who mm-hmm. big rapper ill remember mm-hmm. we went to the studio yeah homeboy yeah um, damn I want to know who homeboy was. had crew <laughs> There's yeah. probably 30 to 50 yeah. people in the studio, yeah. you know, and like... Didn't you know, even look us in the Didn't eye. even, no. Didn't he had the sunglasses on? Yeah. I know who this is. Maybe just nothing. gave us the... Yeah. And I then it was just yeah. like, Sorry. just fucking around, man, which yeah. was so sad yeah. to see blowing money. Yeah. Literally blowing yeah, I was money. I definitely just, in a session like that with oh, two yeah. artists mm-hmm. trying to work together. And one mm-hmm. of them was just like uh, knocked out. And the yeah. other one was like... Ready. He, yeah, like he recorded his... <laughs> yeah. Damn. So he recorded yeah. his shit and like, you know, the other artist is like trying to trying to catch a vibe, looking at mm. him like eh. and the yeah. whole room's like well, Sometimes this is it awkward. just doesn't work. And mm-hmm. then the guy just like did what he could, you know, and then was yeah. like, All right, like headed yeah. out. We're going out. Yeah. Let me say something too. I'm gonna I'm talking to my producers out there. Talking to the ones who maybe had a couple placements maybe signed a little publishing deal, maybe bought a chain, maybe bought two chains, maybe worth a couple million, maybe worth 250 grand. Maybe you signed a publishing deal for half a mil, got 200K up front, and then after taxes and fees, you're left with 80K. I don't know. And then spent 50 on a chain. I don't know, but I'm talking to you guys. It's okay for you to talk, and it's also okay for you to not feel like you're pressured to keep up the persona you put up on your Instagram mm-hmm. when I see you in person or when someone sees you in person. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I don't no one no one cares. I know that you're mm-hmm. a little uh, you're you're a little person inside. Mm-hmm. You know? Like right. I know you're a real person. I know you like jokes. I know you're silly. 
you you took a shit this morning, bro. <laughs> like you wiped your ass this morning. Just like me. <laughs> you wiped your ass this morning, mm-hmm. and you called your mom yeah. an hour Probably ago. Called your, mom. Mom. your mom called you an hour ago, wondering where you are, checking up on you. Mm-hmm. So don't 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 be around me acting all cool. Like yeah. you're not you're not cool. It's okay. Yeah. We can we can joke. Can we can talk, you can open up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think it's you know what I mean. Too, like they just uh, people are guarded too because they're like, oh, I don't know everybody. But I feel like once you make it a point to like be in this industry, you have to open up a little bit. You yeah. can't just no, be like, listen, listen. oh, I'm not going to talk to you or I'm going to be funny because me, I, I'm a pretty social person and like I won't say like I won't name names, <laughs> but I've been in that you know situation too where it was like a all lady cipher and like somebody one of the girls came in, but she had like cameras on her I guess she was mm-hmm. like doing her own TV show but when she came in she didn't say nothing to nobody mm. so it was like she in her mind probably didn't see that as like a big deal but everybody was like why would you come into like a whole ass like thing mm-hmm. and then like not make yourself like right. hey what's up hey, what's blah blah up, blah, blah. Yeah, you, yeah, like, you yeah. already got a camera on you so right. like and it makes you, you look know, better too you know women <clears throat> do deal with that a lot I think like women especially to women, girls yeah if it's a girl like, it's like oh you didn't room, acknowledge me yeah like, it's like oh, and it's not even thing. sometimes if you walk in a room full of girls like you already know which girl's face is like who I is? say hi and right. no matter don't what room I'm in I yeah. don't know her right. you know what I mean yeah like, and listen it's tell. okay like if, it's if you had like, a bad day and like you're going through shit then okay fine you know but if you're on the campaign I feel like number one and this is just a rule to everyone because I've seen people do it when you go into any room you say hi to everybody Mm -hmm. treat everybody the same because you don't know who the fuck is who you don't know who knows so and so somebody might know somebody who got something you want Mm -hmm. something you need but because you were being funny or you didn't say hi they remembered that I've had people like that person didn't say hi I'm not booking them just because they was in they feelings about it this goes back say hi this goes back to the old trick Um, when you walk in a room and you know nobody in the room yeah. except for the host of the party. As soon as you walk through the th- doorway into the room, you put a warm smile on your face and you do like an overall yeah. wave Hello, to the everybody. entire yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. That's networking 101, yeah. guys. Alex, do it to the camera real quick. Okay. Do the smile in the wave, right? All right, you put the smile. Do it, do it to the camera real you quick. You put the smile. Can you give them the black like grandma reach the yeah yeah you know like uh, sometimes what I do too is I just like scan the room and I look at everybody no when I when I see when I see when I see when I see a girl it's this usually what I do is I scan the room and I might I might nod my head. Like, yeah. I'll scan, I'll okay. kind of, like, look at the room and be like, hello. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Like, yeah. everybody. Like, like if you know I don't want to be, like... You know what works, you know what too? Like, when you show supreme, like, um, respect. Yeah. Like, when you see a guy, or even a girl, too, like, across the room that you, like, catch eyes or you you might know or yeah. you're meeting, just be like this. Uh, <laughs> this works. Mean? This works. People do that. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Love. Love, love, yeah, it's like it's love, love. Is heart. Love and sign language for real? Um, I don't know, but I feel doubt. like that's what yeah, it means. Yeah, because somebody like. Oh, you, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Give them the. What yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> no, it's appreciate that. Yeah. No, this appreciate, is appreciate, appreciate that. It. Yeah. Appreciate love. that. I appreciate it. To me, that's like, yo, love to heart. Love. love. Oh, my God. I take yeah. this shit to heart. I appreciate heart. you. I love you, bro. I appreciate love you. That. I appreciate love you, son. For and real. You my God, son. Whatever you need, son. I appreciate you. It's but you know what's getting weird though like the daps are getting a little weird because <laughs> I think people are confused on what like they should no, do especially when I, you come sometimes from the, like the west like, coast and the east coast because in the west coast it's all about west coast like, is the, that I always miss the, it the dab me but too, then I, I have this <laughs> habit for me like I have this habit of always bringing it in <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. and some people don't, don't aren't open to you. it yo when you when you when you when you go to bring it in and then they put their hand out on your chest like nah yeah no or or like your elbows touch I think too when some people yeah, yeah, try hold to that, give hold you that, like son, the, hold that. When people try to give oh, you that, you're trying to I'm do like, that. are you just doing this? And we're like, oh, we're gonna oh, do that. Are you or, doing this? Are you? Yeah. Were you just? I mean, like, I've had I've had it even more awkward because I'm from Cali and like we're the type of people we hug each other when we haven't yeah. seen each other. Right, yeah. right. So it'll be like the person that I'm, you know, this guy was showing me an apartment. I had naturally just like I was like, oh shit. He was like, oh you're, you know, you're oh a, yeah. I was like, oh, keeping it first, first of all, but it, it was like, oh, and I was like, first the of all, I didn't even want to touch no. you. The whole but, Me like, Too movie, you know what? Like, and yeah. he was like, mm, and I was like, I didn't even want to hug or you. Or sometimes when you try to like hug somebody and like, it's like. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's, 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 they're like, or like, yeah. or like, yeah. or like, or like, or like you give them a hug because you're leaving, but then you're both walking down the same block to get to the tra- yeah, the yeah, train, no. and you got to do that it again. That severe perfection. Yeah. All the time, we're like, yeah. all right, girl, all right, bye. See you later. Are oh, you going that way? Right. I'm, I'm going, going that way too. Oh, right. there. <laughs> or like the half one, like you said, it's like, hey, like hey, hella girl, thick, like hey, girl. So funny. Dessert. All right, we got a special guest, special special guest in the building. You already know. Uh, Black yeah. Chat episode, what is it? I forgot 84. already. 84. 84. Oh, Fuck. shit. Episode 84. Applause. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> applause ready. Are you holding the applause right now? Oh, we yeah, because we have to give it around. We, yeah, we're getting um, ready. We got, we got a special guest here, man. Um, if you guys are our loyal listeners, um, you may have heard his episode um, we did drop back in 2016. Um, he uh, Back then, he was producing um, a lot of shit. And after two years, he's got even more. And we're going to talk all about it. Yeah. Welcome back, the homie mm. Seven Thomas. Yay! Yay! And in person. What's good? In person. Black chat. He's actually here. Yeah, in yeah, New I'm York. He's in the building. Okay. Yeah, New York, I'm in here. He's out Thank here doing press. What's up, man? I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling, bro. I'm tired as fuck, but you know what I'm saying? I have yeah. to come show love. You know what I mean? Exactly. Appreciate Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate, appreciate that. Man. Taking the time out. Um, Blap over naps. You ready? Oh. 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 So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, man, so much has happened yeah. since uh, last time we spoke. Uh, you know, uh, that was what two years ago. Yeah. You're coming off of pop style, mm-hmm. and and you know, you even had like an extensive resume. We talked about it on the mm-hmm, other episode, mm-hmm, where mm-hmm. you know, being an artist and being like young and and having deals and stuff like that. And yeah. now, like, you're really you really evolved into like being a full blown like producer. Yeah, you know what absolutely. I mean? yeah. And I I do think that I'm noticing that like you know you do have an advantage over a lot of producers because you're an artist mm-hmm. so you really have this uh um you have the ear and you have like the idea right uh knowing that you're an artist you know kind of what they want yeah so like let's talk about that um let, you know the production process and right. kind of like where your head is at now like you know you've had placements with you know what let's start there let's right. name a few of the new let's records that you've fire. done you know what i mean name like the five <laughs> records that were the ones that came out probably in the past like 12 to 24 months um i got um chris brown and and um jordan lucas uh i uh what's the song called again i don't die yeah yeah um, that was on uh chris brown's no it was on joiners oh joiners yeah 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 um and then after that uh travis scott uh got two on their houston fornication and wake up Two of my favorite joints. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Um, Friends, Beyonce and Jay Z. Hey. Um, What else do we do this year? I, I, honestly, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, Nicki Minaj. Running running high. Lil Wayne is dropping tonight. Hey. Carter Five. Hey. This, this, this drops on Friday, so it's out already. Go okay. get that. It's fire. Yeah. <laughs> fire. That, is, that shit is fire. Everybody. I love that track you did, Seth. It's fire right now. Number one album in the I country. I just played it an hour ago. Well, yeah. since, Feel me? since this is dropping Friday, you said? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's Wayne and Travis Scott. So my man Seven is on his Travis Scott run right now. Yeah. Um, have you guys worked in the studio together? Never. You know what? It's not even really the internet. It's like, yeah, it's um, internet, but... you know, we, we talk about this a lot in the podcast, mm-hmm. how like, you know, the process of making music is so different now yeah. than it was like five, ten years ago. Yeah. And you could really get away with like not always being in the studio with yeah, the artists, yeah, yeah. but like they recognize like who's doing the music. Right. Yeah. You know? They yeah. see the name and it's mm-hmm. consistent. Yeah. It's like, okay, this yeah. guy. But it's exactly. like, even, even, even without the name, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like it's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, you guys, it's like an unspoken thing. You know what I mean? When you, when you make something, you know, you create a moment and they're able to reinterpret that moment and, yep. and make it their moment. It's like it's it's the weirdest thing. And I feel like collaboration has like revolutionized over revolutionized. the years. Revolutionized. You know what I'm I mean like I I can't think of um a time when there was like this much collaboration yeah. amongst producers yeah. pre two thousand twelve. Right. Right. I feel like twenty twelve was like when it started. Yeah, it's it's of. it's you know, 
I'd like to attribute that to like guys like yourself, mm-hmm. Illmind, and like Frank Dukes. Mm-hmm. You know, um, thank you, man. Yeah, man. Uh, Boy Wonder too. Boy Even Wonder, Wonder, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, he's an integral part of 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 that. You know, what I'm saying because I feel like the foundation was laid out like after zero to one hundred. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely. when everybody was like, okay, like. I don't have to do crate digging, you know what yep. I'm saying? I can actually holler at the homie that's nice with the melodies. Yep. And he can send me a wave or an exactly. MP3 mm-hmm. and I can just drop Make that shit in my dog, dog, you know what so I'm crazy. saying? It Chop happen. it up, manipulate and, and it. Then, and then everybody kind of wins in that way. Exactly, too. exactly. You know, and Frank, Frank is, man, he, I love Frank. Yeah, Frank is amazing, Frank. man. I love Frank. I, I remember, um, I always say this all the time, but like, I remember when he was phase one. Yeah. In 2006. <laughs> yeah. I met him, I met him in 2004 <laughs> when I used to date this girl from Scarborough. Yeah. <laughs> Scarborough, <laughs> shout out to Scarborough. Yeah, and I met this fool. I'm like, man, yeah. phase one. And, like the way he's kind of evolved and I think everyone all of us have evolved it's like becoming this collaborative thing where it's like he'll have melodies and like don't get it twisted like Frank got drums too. of course like of his course. drum game is so crazy too yeah, and, and your melody you even have melodies of like, course I think yeah. you know we all kind of do everything so yeah. now it's just a matter of like what you feel like or not feel like doing yeah. you know what I mean and what makes sense a lot and of the time you know what I'm saying because I'm like yo why am I gonna sit in the studio when I gotta like bang some shit out and and figure out this melody for hours and hours because i feel like the melody melodies are are much more of a emotional thing yeah. you know what i'm saying oh, yeah. the inspiration mm-hmm. comes but comes from the emotion mm-hmm. you know yeah. what i'm saying and then and then you can just like sauce it up with some drums you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying so it's, it's easier for me to be in the studio and get some wavy melodies from the homies you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah. and i can do some real factory work. So you're the drum studio. guy. I'm the drum guy. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and and I really pay attention to, you know, the bounce and the swing, and you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I, that's what I provide. You know, so I'm not gonna sit here and and and, and waste any time. I can just holler at you or yeah. Frank or Wallace Lane to send me a pack. Alan Ritter. Alan Ritter. Right. Jahan Sweet. Vinyl. There you so go. So many. Vi- yes. Then I could just I can just fucking throw that shit in my FL and just go crazy and make yeah. 10 shits a night. You know what I'm saying? I miss the days when Frank used to send me melodies. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, Frank, Frank, you don't, be sending Frank me don't send you melodies no oh, more. Oh, man. You Frank, you guys all the melodies. I used to have all the melodies. <laughs> 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 now I can't even clear them. No, I'm just kidding. No, the great thing too, I think, you know, is with like technology and now producers like the producer community is mm-hmm. growing where like the producers are like the stars now yeah, you course, know what i'm saying and i love it and i one i love that and mm-hmm. two with technology now where you know back in the day you had to meet face to face you had to be in the studio with yeah. them you know to go or oh, drop off the tape or whatever you were doing yeah where now boom i hit that you button boom dropbox uh yep dropbox or uh, we transfer or yep. whatever it yep. is and now you can t- you can be anywhere in the world and you can collaborate with illmind and no exactly. matter where you are exactly and it's so amazing to see that and it's so amazing to see producers coming together now yeah. it's like I really, I really believe there's going to be a producer union, like eventually. Of course, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying. Course, eventually, course. You know? so I have a question: Do you feel like it's easier, or you would rather just work from home and not really the studio? Because, because kind of like what you said, and I think you know, as producers, we all go through this process where you will be trying to find a melody mm-hmm. forever, yeah, forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like that kind of sometimes throws off the vibe in the yeah, studio. Yeah. So you kind of maybe sometimes rather, you know, deal with that on your own, yeah. and then come with like. Here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I do like being in the studio, and I also like working at home. It all depends, you know what I mean, yeah. on on the on the vibe and like, the environment. You know, when I'm at home back in Toronto, I live with my entire family, and like my nieces and nephews love me, so right. they just bang my door off, yeah. around, pop yeah. over my room. You know what I mean? Whenever they want. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm in the studio, I have a much more focused energy, right. and like, That's great. you know, I I know that I came here to work, so mm-hmm. um. And and also like when it comes to like making melodies and stuff, like sometimes you can start something crazy and you're like, Oh my god, I love this idea and then fall out of love with it within that session Absolutely. Yep. Yep. and then move oh, on. Yep. You time. know what I mean? How so, do you get through that? Yeah. Honestly, like at this point, like I don't even waste time making melodies. Like I'd 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 really have to like be in a in a in a zone where I'm just like 
living with this yeah. one thing right. you know patience. what i mean mm-hmm. exactly it takes a lot of patience it takes a lot yeah, of patience absolutely. manipulating the sound you know what i'm saying getting all the the, the frequencies right yeah. it's yeah. it's a it's an art yeah. in itself yeah, yeah. Like, you know Ilman, what i'm saying Ilman's fire with that like he, he's, he's, like, he's like how he's how top you... top two not two you know what i mean <laughs> oh, so oh, man. um <laughs> yeah it's it's really an art mm-hmm. yeah i still think frank got me because frank is crazy though. no i think i think everybody in their own right is amazing yeah. you know what i'm saying like each of each guy each one of you guys that, that um specialize in melodies you know um you guys bring something unique to the table mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying in, in in each way even if it's not um immediately distinguishable like you guys are equally successful you know what yeah. i'm saying and 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 um you guys have a lot of shit out there you know what i'm saying and you guys yeah. make packs and packs and packs and you guys can be an omnipresence yeah. within the music because you can outsource or, or not even outsource you can just send stuff to everyone at the mm-hmm. same time mm-hmm. and then one month you have like 10 records coming out at the same time you yeah. know what I'm saying so right yeah, yeah. I mean it's it's open definitely opened up like a new um, like perspective a yeah. new method of like producing music yeah you know what I mean yeah. and and I don't know I, th- I just think it's, it's interesting and also like I'm noticing a lot of like upcomers too yeah. that are really coming up and making fire. And yeah, a lot of them are from Toronto. A lot like, of them are from Toronto. Toronto yeah. <laughs> there's something really, really, really. At this point, we all know it's pretty obvious. There's something special in Toronto. Yeah. It's the shitty weather. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> I mean, New York is shitty weather too, and, and everyone's moving out of New York. And but you know what? The, I think it's also the inspiration too, yeah. right? Yeah. Like as far as like producer, the producer community mm-hmm. in Toronto. Yeah. You know, Boy Wonder Boy has Wonder. really put a lot of producers on the There's map so with like collaborating and helping them. Of you course. know, so that did it for the city. And that shout inspired. out Wanda. Yeah, yeah. 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 and then you Wanda. have like Drake and like the Justin Bieber's that are from Canada. Yeah. You know, and Drake from Toronto. That, the weekend too. Yeah. The weekend. You know what I mean? That they are what they are, so that inspires people to like. Like really yeah. Yeah. put themselves out there. Yeah, I do. I do these events called Pass the Ox, where mm-hmm. I go to different cities. I and see I'll you. Get, get the producers and stuff. I see you. And we've done so many cities at this point. I did Toronto three times. Yeah. And all three times in Toronto were three of the best. Of, of course, all the cities. Of course, because you know what? And I, I've been using this word a lot today, but like, mm-hmm. there's just been this like incubation going on in Toronto. It's because like we've we've had this culture for years upon years. We had Battle of the Beatmakers from yep. inception. You know what I mean? From from the time of like Cardi, you know, getting his break and you know guys breaking through. Um, you know, that's kind of how Wanda got to. Uh, build his name and then we had like the remix project mm-hmm. in Toronto which is like shout a, out to the remix project. shout out remix project you know what I'm saying it was a, a, a integral part of our, our mm-hmm. culture musically and like a lot of people were discovered through the remix project like yeah. Wonder Girl and yeah. right. I, I, I think like Drake and 40 probably met at the remix project right. at some point oh, wow. some involvement yeah, yeah. Um, and and you know Wanda uh, mentored some kids at the Remix Project so we had this um, this this culture already mm-hmm. so I feel like you know there's there's uh, there's more and more examples and figures and, and people uh, to look to look at that are successful coming out of the city and you know more and more kids are, are modeling their goals and aspirations after these people you yeah. know what I'm saying and, and I think I'm, the yeah. cool thing too is that Toronto embraces collaboration yeah. right like yeah. everyone yeah. has collaborated with each other you know as it's, far as even producers I'll mm-hmm. say it's that Atlanta blueprint you know what yeah. I'm saying yeah. I, I'll credit Atlanta for that mm-hmm. because their Atlanta is like the first city I've looked at personally and was like yo all these niggas fuck with each other mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah. saying in some Although, sort of way mm-hmm. you know what I mean even if it's just on the front you know what I'm saying who knows what's going on behind the scenes, yep. but on the front end of shit, it mm-hmm. looks like everyone fucks with each other. So, um, Toronto, we we had this uh, this stigma, you know, for years about you know Toronto being the screw face capital and mm-hmm. everybody mm-hmm. being haters. But I just I think that's a myth. You know, what I'm saying personally. I think that's kind of like yeah. the New York. I mean, that's <laughs> New York. Every, I feel like every um, every city has that yeah. stigma. Yeah. But I don't know. I. I just think that Remix Project, Battle of the Bee Makers, and all these things, like when that stuff was happening, it was literally like birthing the talent that we see now. Yeah. Yep. You yeah. know? Yeah. It's it's crazy, man. It's nuts. It's yeah. nuts. Um, you so, know, and 
Go ahead, no, go ahead. I actually had a question. I was curious to see what your take was on the whole beat leasing. Beat leasing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, like the tight beats and the, oh, you know, um, the buy one, get two free type thing <laughs> and stuff like that. Buy I, one for 99 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it's, I think it's cool because like these kids are finding ways to hustle. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, they're finding ways to get their name out there. A lot of rappers, like you wouldn't even believe like elite level rappers mm -hmm. and, and writers are going on YouTube and yeah, searching for beats yep. and, for and sure. writing songs to them and shit and then reaching out to these guys. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? There's like actual instances where like Drake has like DM'd people from, um, from uh youtube right you know what i'm saying like i seen a, like a screenshot of some kid like put that up recently mm -hmm. um but anyway like this this is a it's a good way to market yourself you know what i mean and um a lot of kids are getting discovered i think mm -hmm. murder beats was like doing tight beats yeah. back in the day if mm -hmm. i'm if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. and caught the attention of the migos and chief keef mm -hmm. so it's it's uh you know it it can look kind of funny in the light, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it, it looks like you're you're uh finessing, you know what I'm saying? And, and finessing sometimes rubs people the wrong way, but fuck it, man. You gotta get it yeah, how you it. live. Yeah. You yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's working. I mean designer yeah. Panda was a type beat. Exactly. Panda. Right. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. That yeah. actually what was his name? Uh, Menace. Menace. And that's yeah. that's mm -hmm. a diamond record now? Yeah. 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 Huge. Wow. yeah. Like, you just diamond. hit him up on YouTube like yo. Yeah. He was so like, I know yeah, with um, yeah. Houston, Houston Fornication, Houston Fornication, I told him that that was like my favorite beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Thank a you. fact. Like, Thank you. I, the song, everything about it, the drums <coughs> is my favorite part. I appreciate so, that. So I don't know if it was that that song or Wake Up that you sent Travis the beat like a year prior. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, tell us about that. I sent, I sent Travis that beat like a year ago, like literally just like made it in my uh, Airbnb in LA. Right. Mm. And like me and all the homies were in there uh just like smoking and chilling and just like having fun uh playing xbox and shit so while they're doing all that i'm over here making it making beats on these two small ass yamaha <laughs> yeah you know what like i'm talking that. about the yeah. little tiny ass <laughs> ones like that. Yeah. Like that. yeah 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 the so I, was there. <laughs> yeah so i was like yo <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, it was like a shitty ass Airbnb at right. the time. So yeah. I was like, yo, I just felt like I was in the trap. You know but what I'm saying? But you just yeah. vibing, like, you know, yeah. I think as producers, we create anywhere really yeah, like you yeah, have yeah. like the million dollar studio and that's cool no. but like yeah. I've produced at Starbucks exactly. and I'd be like doesn't oh, matter where. Exactly. Fire. just be yeah. out just be somewhere it doesn't matter where I so see, you're making it at the Airbnb I made it at the Airbnb yeah. and uh, I sent it out and uh, yeah he was fucking with it you know what I'm saying but um, and then it, but it took a year for that to to come into fruition, yeah, come into you fruition. know what it's like I feel like uh, although I've never worked with him personally just judging by uh you know his body of work and the consistency like he seems to be a perfectionist yep. you know what i'm saying and um he's very meticulous with the sonics and the, the the way he wants to put shit together so i respect that like i respect the process at the end of the day so however long it takes for him to get the the result that he wants it's all good so yep. it was well worth the wait you know what i mean but i i i didn't know for sure whether or not it would be used until like the final moments you know what i'm saying so yeah. you you yeah. sent that beat to him specifically right yeah. like yeah. no one else yeah sent it to him i i i just like i had a feeling when it came to that record like even when i was fucking with the sample shout out wallace lane mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying um it was just one of those things where before I even put drums on it, I was like walking around, like letting it loop over and over and over, mm -hmm. just like kind of meditating with it, so, you know, smoking and, mm -hmm. you know, talking amongst friends and just like letting that, um, letting it take, take over the room. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like the, you're in the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, then I sat down. Once I sat down, it just all came together real fast. That's and then I sent it out and then immediately heard something back so i love it man you know what you know it's crazy i feel like obviously a, a lot of our listeners are most of them are upcoming you know producers mm -hmm. and artists and stuff mm -hmm. and i think what's happening with a lot of people is people are just like overthinking yeah stuff where yeah. they're not they don't realize that a lot of these records that we love and that you hear on these albums and stuff are just so random yeah yeah everything right. is literally random yeah. like it, you could have been like making that beat the wake up beat mm -hmm. in the airbnb and maybe you just got hungry all of a sudden or one of the homies was like yo let's go to 
like get some food mm-hmm. or whatever and you may have just like stopped making the beat and yeah. forgotten right. about it yeah. and that song would never exist yeah yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that's true so it's just like that's that's a lot of um power yeah. that you were holding at mm-hmm. that moment mm-hmm. without you even knowing you had that power yeah absolutely you know what i'm saying yeah and i think also you just kind of um creating the environment yeah. for it to mm-hmm. happen yeah you know, i like how you said that you mm-hmm. meditated on it yeah i tend to do that sometimes mm-hmm. and yeah. want to do that more often where like i will hear a melody or i have a sample and i'm like all right let me start adding drums yeah but other times i'm kind of like you don't i want to hear it first mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah you know yeah. and you created that vibe exactly. to where you made it its best exactly that's exactly. what i feel too i feel like when you said that i was like that i kind of do that too was like i'll let a beat player or a sample play but like i'll start actually living life yeah, a little bit because yeah. you're like okay because I, w- I will sit down in front of some shit and be like damn this is hot yeah all right yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you done. walk away because you don't yeah. know what to do and it's yeah. almost right. like i'll ask you this do you intimidate yourself sometimes honestly like you make something where you're like okay <laughs> but in a good way, like but in a, way, a, in a great way, way like, where you're just like, I don't even know where to go next. I gotta step back. I'll tell you the truth, like I'm I'm so like deaf when it comes to myself at times. You know what I'm saying? Mm. There is moments where I feel like shit's special and it, it it should be something. It should be someone single, and I just have that like uh that the intuition that it, it that it will manifest mm. as something great, but. At times, it's like I wish, like I could just have an outer body experience and then, like, look at myself right. from an external yeah. point of view and, and and really get a good grasp of of who and what I am and 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 what this shit sounds like. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes I just be making shit and like I'll be st- like, yo, this shit's trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. when you're listening to it at three thirty seven a.m. Yeah. and then you listen yeah. to that yeah. shit at like ten a.m. Yeah. You're like, you want to know what's crazy? Like, I don't think, I don't think, uh an artist shows like any of my favorite beats at any point like i i still think i'm sitting on some of my best shit yeah of course you know what i'm saying and then sometimes it's like time goes by and then like there you know it depends on 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 uh um like i feel like sometimes certain beats have an expiration date you know what i'm saying in terms of like you know the 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 tempo range that the industry's fucking with, right. or yeah, like, sonically yeah. what they're fucking you feel with, me? So, yeah, sounds, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So I feel like you know, I'm like fuck, man. Like I wish someone took this beat, but you can always yeah. revamp a beat, right? Of course, like, of you course. Know, you yeah. hear it later on because I've done that. Like yeah. I've heard beats from last year, and I'm like, oh no, I gotta speed this shit up. Yeah, of course, I gotta, like of switch up this melody a little bit, you know. Yeah. But because it's kind of like I always say, um, the Migos record, um, Stir Fry. Yeah, fucking um, Pharrell did that. 10, Ten years, years ago, yeah, two thousand eight. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. That's because he's Pharrell. Like, yeah. He's yeah. Pharrell. Yeah. He's yeah. Pharrell. Yeah. His sound Pharrell is just things that, like the nigga ageless. doesn't even age. So. He doesn't age. <laughs> he's still, like twenty five. Everything about he's him is aging. Time time. <laughs> what I love about Pharrell too is that like, like stuff like like anything, a track like anything, I would have made that and been like. Nah, this sounds weird. Nobody's yeah, yeah. gonna get right. this, but yeah. he's doing this like, no, this is weird. The thing yeah. is, because he, he commits he, to it, he's he a salesman it. as he well, to it. Yeah. and That's he has the about. overall yeah. vision, regardless. Like, because he's referencing everything he does. You know yep. what I'm saying? And that's a skill that I don't even utilize. You know what I'm saying yeah. myself? Like, I can I can really like sing, and people don't even know that. Yeah. But like, that's something I'm gonna um, I'm gonna add to my little arsenal. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Absolutely. As I get more comfortable in this right. industry, because I'm not gonna lie to you like i'm such a like laid back passive person that you know i don't even like being overbearing with my ideas right. and shit like that yeah. i just kind of yeah. like the artist to do it do what the fuck they want to right. i'd rather to. just send it to them mm-hmm. and and step aside yeah, Maybe that's yeah. Just i feel like that's what how way. most like producers are though yeah, yeah. So it's how, like we did our job artists. you do your part yeah. i did my part yeah. you know what's your um seven what's your workflow like like uh, what time do you wake yeah. up do you have like a schedule for how yourself? often you make you beats create? every day like what's how, what is it nowadays um I'm, I'm 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 nutty man i'm weird <laughs> um it depends man like because some days i like to live life like mm-hmm. i won't even make beats for weeks and, and you shit. need to yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. so like i'll just be enjoying life with family and like friends and stuff like that but like when i'm in the zone like you know i could make consecutive beats you know what i'm saying right. i could do a bunch of shit it all varies though and i don't have a bedtime like i i i'm one of them type i'm one of them type of people that 
have a fear of missing out for no reason mm-hmm. like right. ain't shit going on but like I, right. i'm fighting sleep till like seven in the morning yeah like you know if, I'm I mean? sl- if i'm asleep at three in the morning something's going on yeah 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 and i'm yeah, like you don't want to miss out exactly so i'll be up like watching podcasts and shit and like you know just retaining information from from shit or just like yeah. brainstorming in my head you know what i mean like I'm one of them people that just like stay up late at night and just think about everything that I want to do. Yeah. And then um then I I I bother my manager behind me <laughs> about everything and she's like, "Yo, are you fucking like are you okay?" <laughs> like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need to live life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. So, um, like it's four o'clock on Tuesday morning. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> but sometimes I just get on these like wild ass tangents about like all the shit I want to do, mm-hmm. and then I catch myself. I'm like, "Yo, you sound crazy, bro." Like, yeah, I mean, but that's good though because you wanna you wanna like say it out loud. You yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. You yeah. wanna paint a, a, a picture of where you see yourself in two three five years right yeah it's like putting it out in the universe you know what i'm saying it's like um you 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 want that that energy out there to manifest you know what i'm saying and and throughout the course of my career like that's pretty much what i did like i always said or i always declared to myself Mm -hmm. even or just to my brothers you know what i'm saying my brother's right there like mm-hmm. i'll be telling him like all the stuff that i want to do uh, and 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 it happens like who i want to work with this year like i remember mm-hmm. before work even happened i said yo i want to work with rihanna this year and then it happened so you know mm-hmm. what i mean um i put my mind to working with wayne this year for some reason just like subconsciously and mm-hmm. then literally like at the tail end of, of of the album apparently you know what i'm saying it makes the album so it i'm like happened. fuck and this shit's about to be the lead single too so mm-hmm. it's Amazing. crazy yeah. how, how do you how do you find you know when you come up with these ideas in your head and you're telling your homies and you know you guys are discussing you know with your manager what, what your plans are going to be how do you actually execute like those artists that you just named yeah how do you end up actually linking? Was it through their manager, through their A and R, through an event? You just shot him a DM. Like, how do you end up reaching those people? Um, I have the best publisher in the world. His name is Boy Wonder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wonder one yeah, shout out to Boy Wonder. <laughs> And just, and just a friend in general, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the Wonder's friggin' man. Yeah. Yeah. One, Boy Wonder is He's basically like um, Neo. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's basically Neo. Yeah, 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 he's, for real. He's the all-encompassing. For real, and he's so unassuming. and Oracle like wrapped into one. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't really. He, I don't really feel like, and, and maybe just me, but I didn't really feel like I heard much of producers actually genuinely collabing until him. Yeah, like he, yeah. before that, yeah. it was always very isolated. Like you had this person, you had this person, you didn't even know because they even worked mm-hmm. with each other. And in, in, in that time, it was like these producers were artists as well. Like I was even watching like some. <laughs> BET programming that would just pop up from from years ago that was just like in the cycle and like this year or some shit and I'm seeing Jazzy Faye I'm like mm-hmm. yo Jazzy Faye used yeah. to be everywhere every, you know? everywhere he was on yeah. every record yeah oh, he was wow. on yeah, he every record one. you know what I'm saying so artists I mean not artists producers at one point were they were on that like fuck you yeah like, I'm keeping and this shit be, to myself and they'd be in the videos marketing yeah. themselves yep. you know what I'm saying so it's, it's crazy because like one is like the most like unassuming guy you know what mm-hmm. I mean he, he has such a like calm like uh, like I'm not interested in anything kind of demeanor yep. but like fucking genius behind genius. the scenes yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying mm-hmm. how often do you send him I guess this goes for both of you mm-hmm. since you both collab with him yeah. like how often do you send him ideas or and like what do you send him Wanda like I talk to Wanda every single day like mm-hmm. literally every single day like we have like a big bro little bro dynamic you know what I'm saying like I roast the fuck out of him he roasts me like that type of shit so. <laughs> I see you guys do this yeah. <laughs> yeah we go hilarious. we go hard at each other but well, um, who's better at 2k19 saying oh that? he's getting fucked up oh right my now. god <laughs> I heard that <laughs> yeah. I heard that one he definitely held some 20s you know what I'm saying oh but, my um, god 20s yeah, though yeah 20s man back to back to back yeah, Uh-oh. it's bad for him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, don't bring those Milwaukee Bucks ever. <laughs> you feel me? But um, no. Um, what what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> like, how often do you like send him yeah. shit? So I mean, yo, like I said, I talk to one every day. So um, sometimes I don't even have to send him anything. He just has stuff that I already sent him. But like, it's crazy because like every time I send him something, he gives me like this reaction. And I know, like, I know it's going to land somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I know it's going to find a home. And 
I don't know why, but I I know what to send him every single time. He has, you yeah. have like a secret power, or like something a formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. like you yeah. know what? Yeah. 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 I know, I know the beats things. that he's gonna react to. You know what I'm saying? Like I know exactly what to send him. So like even this Wayne record, like I I, I played him the beat. I probably sent him the beat like like a week prior to sending it to him again or actually playing it for him in the studio because mm-hmm. like he works with so many people like you know mm-hmm. so I, he probably doesn't even press play on some of the shit I actually right. send him right. until I see his yeah, ass yeah. Yeah. so we're in the studio <laughs> so we're in the studio and I was just playing a bunch of stuff and he's like what the fuck you never sent me this I'm mm-hmm. like yeah I did yeah, <laughs> yes I did I sent this to you a long time ago yeah. and he's like yo send this to me right now so I resend it to him like and then you know he sends it out right away like right in front of my face like I said he's the best publisher in the world like, yeah. mm-hmm. so how do you know when it's it like there's been a couple times that you said like I just you knew I just knew so when do you know when you're you know, creating it's, it's, you don't really know I you don't, don't really know yeah. you it's don't almost really like know. you yeah. not psych yourself but it's yeah. like you gotta keep your but like energy, there's times you know? where like you said you know there's points where we kind of all make beats that we're like eh, uh, yeah. nah that's not it but then there's times where you're like nah that's yeah. That's, that's gonna it. land a that's home. So yeah. What makes you feel that way? It's it's like mm. an intangible thing. Like I don't even I don't even know how or why, but it's uh I feel like my taste was made like as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like my cousin and my brother, uh, Caesar Benji and my cousin Stretch. Like my cousin Stretch was like a real like rap nerd, but he also like a goon. And like <laughs> he had to me like the best taste in hip hop you know what I'm saying so I grew up on like the hardest shit you know what I mean cause that, that's what he gravitated towards and my brother Caesar was a part of the reason why I was able to like dissect beats and, and, and figure out what was good about beats you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying like he really taught me how to listen yeah. to beats so um, it's just one of those things that can't necessarily be taught unless you speak that language too Mm -hmm. and i just get that feeling within you know what i mean i'm like yo this is done you know what it is it's taste yeah yeah Yeah. that's it it tastes like over time you know the more music you listen to you develop like a taste yeah you know like you know what a good snare is exactly you know what a good clap is exactly you know the pocket you know the balance exactly you know know texture it's really texture and I I give credit to Wanda for that too because like his ear is insane yeah he has an insane ear and he has that approach where it's like he doesn't overdo anything yep. and he allows the artist to be the instrument mm-hmm. the main instrument yep. so I adopted the same mentality where it's like whatever I do is simple enough to be sick but like whatever artist could use that as a as a canvas yep. you know what I'm saying for them to actually be like at the forefront you guys heard it from seven and confirmed boy wanda and we we say that a lot mm-hmm. but i feel like motherfuckers are not listening yeah yeah listen in stop, now though listen <laughs> stop over producing yeah. yes your shit yeah, yeah. i remember Leave um the big room. homie ninth wonder said something a long time ago yeah and like it always resonated with me he said you're if you're a producer you're either one of two producers mm-hmm. you either make beats for other producers like in terms of like to impress other producers yeah. mm-hmm. or facts. you're making you're making music for music. artists and for, right. for songs right and really there's no right or wrong like there's mm-hmm. a lot of like super big overproduced beats that are like on SoundCloud Absolutely. and EDM DJs and stuff like that there's a whole world but if you're if you're playing the game of like getting placements and collaborating with artists mm-hmm. and stuff like that you're, you, you're absolutely right like yeah. you have to really paint a canvas that is interesting enough to be like new and familiar yeah. but not overproduced to where you don't know what to write to exactly it, right? exactly and and a lot of people um you know that ninth wonder makes a great point because there's producers too that like overdo shit throw like vocal samples in yeah. and like little, like artists can't write to that shit yeah. right? you know what i'm saying exactly. or even with the drums too just yeah. like super overdoing the pocket on, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Melodies, the, the high hats would be like glitching low but it's yeah. funny it's, it's funny because it's kind of like what you were saying it's 
it's also taste, right? Because yeah. Yeah. I've had beats that are fire, and people are like, "Oh, well, it's too, it's too, too simple. simple. It's too yeah. empty." And then you have somebody else listen to it, and they're like, "Nah, that shit's done." Yeah, yeah. Well, it's you a choice know what of I mean? sound selection. Who's saying of it's course. too simple though? Like, how well, full is your kick? And that, that's How too, like, like, Who's giving hair? you the feedback? That yeah, like, matters. Who's giving that the matters too. too. That, that matters so much. It could be a hater. Because especially with girls, we always get the same. It's simple. Yeah, like, oh, it's not a oh, yeah. it's simple. And simple yeah. could be no, good when the cool artist skeleton. gets on it. it it's like it's it. a cool yeah. skeleton. I'm like, did you hear it's this like, song bitch, that only got us? Nah, you know what <laughs> you're talking uh, about. Sam, are you in a relationship? No. Okay, so I was yeah, gonna say like a good a good way to test your shit is to play your shit for like your significant other, you're right? Because they'll a lot of times keep it a buck. Of well, course. Yeah. Some True. people might be kind of biased. Like it's yeah. like it's cute, babe. Nah, you gotta find you gotta find, you gotta find a real one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, every every yeah. time I was in a relationship and I I, I played some shit like they let me know for they real. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I love this babe. This is so good. Yeah. <laughs> I could hear this person on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, hyping you up. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, but why the hi hat like, hi-hat so fast? Like, what is this? Yeah, when when they start <laughs> giving you real like real feedback, shit. it's like okay, right. calm down. If they're right. technical enough Did to know what a hi hat is, that's the thing though you need, like, you need to quantize that one yeah, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> but that's the thing though is that being biased because like for instance let's say if you have a girl right or a guy that doesn't really know the technicalities of, of creating a song I would trust them more and I would trust them more and because they're like, oh, it's dope because like, yeah, I don't want to disappoint, babe. Like, it sounds nah, cool. I it trust depends. them more. I will trust them more if they if don't they know shit. If they have less experience, I, yeah. Yeah. like my if my girl, my girl good. does not know anything about music. Yeah, yeah. she'll tell me she'll she'll hear something in those and be like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, you know, or she'll be like. Who's that guy yelling on that track? Like, <laughs> she just might let you know in so many other ways. Is that she the music you're like making it. now? Like, <laughs> what's up with guy? that but guy? But that's true because screaming. the people, like people like her, are consumers, right? They're mm-hmm. the ones that are just. Those, listening. That's the best ear. Yeah, me. that's the best ear. Because that's who you we're making music for. Well, right. that's why a lot of a, a, a lot of you know niggas in the game, like rappers and shit, they invite a bunch of girls to the studio. Facts. And yeah. like kind of like, throw a little party in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it creates the vibe. Yeah, yeah. As long as you get work done. Like, don't yeah. do that and then not record anything. Yeah, yeah. Record some, yeah. yeah. yeah or, or like, everywhere. record yeah. some shit and then bring them after you're done. Yeah, and then play the shit and test right. it out. Or, okay, now bring in the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now well, bring them in. Bring, what you say, like bring that. the strippers. <laughs> can bring you create that way though? Like, can you create with a lot of people? Yeah, around you I am very weird in the studio. Like, yeah. I've been like, I put myself to the test because really, like, I started off by myself or just around my brothers and shit like that you know what I mean in my basement like so it, it, recently like for the past three or four years I've been really like learning who I am you know what I mean right. in terms of like being able to work around people like what I like yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying whether, whether or not I like working with writers whether or not I like working with artists in the room and I feel like I benefit the most when I'm working by myself mm-hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying I feel like um or if if there's one or two people in there whose air I trust, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. That's that's perfect too. And somebody that can like articulate how they feel about it. Right. You know what I mean? So, um I recently just like realized like, yo, I I love working alone. Like I, I get to yeah. I get to do what the fuck I want to do. Mm-hmm. No right. distractions. I, no. Exactly. And I can do my thing and then send it out if you ain't fucking with it you're not fucking with it it's that that's simple it. Done you know? yeah. I, I think that's true because you know being in the studio I've seen tons of people come with like 30 you know 15 yeah, no, 20 guys and then it's done. like you get so many different opinions so I much different I feedback I guarantee you they're not really getting as much done as they can as yeah they they and then so there's, there's always that one person in the studio that just says something stupid like yeah. yo I can hear this on it or yeah. like yo you <laughs> should that's put this in there yeah. I'm like Bro, that's what I'm saying and it kind of like yeah. just throws you off and yeah. turns you off and yeah. you can have a good idea but mm-hmm. everything else around you just throw, turns you off has somebody ever like said yo I can hear such and such on it and it's like a trash artist and you're trash like artist. bro yeah. what the fuck are you, you talking about yeah, yeah. Like, I've what? listened trash. to shit and they'll be like oh it'll be dope if so and so did yeah. this and I'm like bitch this is my it's song it's yeah. like yeah. my you're shit trying to yeah. you trying to play me yeah. also too you know I feel you on that cause when you're making beats specifically like yeah. you don't want people breathing down your neck no. like and you don't want and do you feel like this too sometimes like if there's someone in a the room and you're making a beat you feel like 
they're just consistently staring, like listening oh, to what you're, yes. doing. what you're doing, and then you're like, judging. you might, you might be like laying down like a synth part, yeah, and you know the shit is trash, yeah. but but you know that you're gonna change it, yeah. and you know what you're right. gonna do yeah. to make it fire. Yeah. But they don't know, but they're, like, they don't know. Oh. Yeah. they're like, so then you're thinking, oh damn, Shall this we? motherfucker think I'm trash, or they're like, yeah. but Yo, wait, wait, like ten minutes, and I it'll think be you fire. should use another sound. Right, like, yeah. it's like you don't even know where I was going with that. Exactly. So why you do that? Why is that kick off? Yeah. And that's kind of the high. So that's kind of what I, I was saying. I gotta zoom into the middies. Yeah. That's kind of what I, I was saying with like. Um, Are you gonna with, quantize that? With, <laughs> right. That sounds offbeat. Or like, I don't think that scenario is it. It's like, dog, like, dog. Just did you not hear me just go I'm through just, five different fucking snares yeah. and all the beats for yeah. you? Or maybe dogs, I'm dogs. just, or maybe wait I'm just I, place holding right now. <laughs> yeah. Wait, gonna wait till I my... bend this 808, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> right. This shit ain't even bent yet. Can I like EQ it a little bit? But that's kind of what I was saying about the melodies. Like when you're trying to find the melody for so long i've been in the studio Trash. with people and i'm like too much this pressure ain't it. This ain't no. it. yeah you're i will never i will never sounds. make melodies with people in the room never i cannot and then you're do going that never through sounds like, and it's stop. like <sighs> yeah i hate being this in the studio never. that way never. yeah go away go the other better room. i kind of accept it as a challenge too because like me i'm not i'm still independent so i'm not able to get stu- free studio time all the time no. so granted you might have a couple of people just walk through your shit and grab a charger and ask a question and it makes you like yo but at the same time you're like you have to like I feel like I can't always be like I need to be alone you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah, it's yeah. just like damn I gotta just Listen, power through this if shit. you're paying for the the room then you can call a shot oh hell yeah right. if I'm not <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but I think that's a good gem for like producers cause mm-hmm. I think some people also are not sure why they can't get a good collaboration going cause mm-hmm. I've been in the studio with some people and I'm like this session wasn't it. You know yeah, what I mean? And it yeah. makes me feel like, damn, do I want to collaborate? Yo, also, too, I think people have this misconception on like what they envision mm-hmm. a session like the, to be. The session to be. It looks like, good on paper. It looks good on paper. Yeah. Like, like you know, collaborations with you and Boy Wonder, right? Yeah. For instance, like, I think people are expecting like you on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Boy yeah. Wonder tapping out drums yeah, live yeah, yeah. and then record. But that's right. not how it, no, how no, it goes at all. No, because me and Wonder pretty much do the same thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we have a similar approach to shit. Right. But it's like, people see two sexy names together and they're like, oh shit, like, yeah. this is gonna be crazy. Right. It's yeah. like, it's like when the fucking Lakers got Dwight Howard and Steve Nash and yeah. Kobe yeah. and fucking this, that, and they sucked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's that. So you can't necessarily, like, have an expectation because you think you're working with this and that person. I, I'm the type of person, I'm very sensitive to energies and who's around mm-hmm. me. Yep. And I, I, I'm, I get annoyed by like stupid questions and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. when I'm trying to work right. or yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like niggas just be asking you like, yeah. yo, so like, how did you like send Drake that record? No, like, no, 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 no. Bro, like, can you stop talking? Yeah, yeah can it's you like, just stop talking? Yeah, like, bro, like, I'm shit, like, yeah. I'm like that. Like, my vibe will get thrown off super quick. Yeah. Like, if I'm distracted or the vibe is off, and if I'm creating and it just goes, it's like, it literally it could go away a second so to get yeah and I need a back. second to get it back and sometimes as a creative you might not yeah. you might not like get the it back it's done to hold on to it I literally did that I did a uh, projects uh, well they're not they're not to they broke up but the mechanics right yeah. I did a uh, project with them shout out to foreign tech and everybody yeah. oh shout out tech man. yeah tech is the tech is the yeah. homie that's um, we did a like we were doing a track and I remember I was adding these like weird chords on top of it yeah and my manager at the time was like that doesn't and I was like hold no, up no, no, hold up rough. and literally no. after that he was like yo after everything he was like okay like he got it but come it was on, like manager. that extra part was like come <laughs> on man you can't be this doing that this is not what you do but I have a question about that when you're in the studio collaborating with someone right mm. And you're going back and forth on ideas. How do you feel when they change something you do? It pisses me off sometimes. Right? Oh it bothers me. Sometimes, right? Like, yeah. I have one friend. He's dope. I love him. He's super cool. But, like, every time we collab, it kind of throws me off from wanting to work with him. Right. It kind of makes me feel like you're trying to make me feel intimidated. Like, I'll add, I'll do something, and then he'll come and, like, change the whole idea around, kind yeah. of. And, yeah. like, just throw my yeah. shit away. And I'm like, bro, like. That's not I've, the same I've thing. had people yeah. do that before, and I'm like, bro, I let you sit on my computer, and you're coming and fucking up. Yeah, shit. Right now, you're yeah. fucking it up. You're supposed to enhance. Or like, yeah. Yeah, like leave my idea. Yeah, and add your idea, it. and then around, if we need yeah. to change it, let's change it. But don't blatantly be like, 
you know, exactly. like yeah. it's hard with Curve. men. It's hard with men and women, unfortunately, yeah, because when I got set up with this session with this random artist, we were just going back and forth. Like he was going through his sounds, I was going through mine. He played a sample that I like. I said, mm-hmm. okay, yo, can you send me that? Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. Would not send me the sample, so I was like, all right built the whole ass track around mm-hmm. but he was whatever he was doing wasn't working i was like can you send it to me now yeah, yeah. they had the beat already yeah locked yeah, send yeah. it in there like uh yeah they get it now and it's yeah, just like come it. on just because yeah i'm yeah. in the studio already yeah. so that should say something right yeah but it's, just, it's all chemistry yeah. it's all chemistry yeah. at the end of the day and, and and vibes and you know i like i like working with people that like i know and people that um you know they 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 have a similar um etiquette you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. when it comes to working and and they they understand this shit you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like i like how have we worked before not yet we should work not yet black you know that. what i'm saying yeah yeah, black black that. yeah for sure <laughs> like but but th- this is this is a thing like I'm trying to slide you some melodies. By oh the hell way. yeah! Right. Oh. Yo, look, Get them send, send, going. send, 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 send. Because I'm, I love just having uh, like a large volume of melodies, just you know, going through them. And even if I miss them the first time, I'll get them the second or third right. time. Or I'm gonna be time. like yeah. you when you said, "Boy, one day you gotta see him in person." I'm be like, "Did you? Um, yeah, did you, did you, did you, did you hear that? Exactly. Did you get to yeah. that um, again? Seven. What's um before we let you go? What's mm-hmm. a one piece of advice you can give? to the upcoming music producer i mean just like thinking about how where you came from and how you've gotten to this point in your career yeah what's like what's one thing that you've learned along the way yo man uh perseverance man patience Mm -hmm. um not giving up on yourself um not having like the most grand expectations because you know that's yep, exactly. that's how you become disappointed Mm and you know it sucks the life out of you you know what i'm saying and it's like um, I feel like you got to do this from the heart and, and, and not for anything else. Like, I know people that just want to do shit for clout. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And, like, they want to do shit to get famous or noticed by this person or that person. Or, you know, like, it's all about your approach as well. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, be smart. Be be uh, polite. You know what I mean? Um just have a great spirit, you know what I mean. Don't don't ever go into something, you know, with 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 a, uh, you know, an attitude or, or an ego. You know, always just remain the student, and um, you know, just know that information is infinite, infinite, and 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 listen more than you speak. You know what yep. I'm saying? And just, um, I believe like. I believe the the laws of the universe and the laws of nature is like, yo, you keep knocking on the door, it's gonna open. You know yep. what I'm saying? No matter what. Because like, how long can they deny you for? You know what I mean? Exactly. I was in that boat before where I felt like, you know, um, the door was shut on me. You know yep. what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure everyone in this room Absolutely. felt like that. Mm-hmm. And um, I didn't stop until I kicked that bitch down. You know what I'm saying? You gotta kick it down. And I'm I'm in this bitch now and I'm letting my name be known. You kick it down and and you force people Mm -hmm. to care. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Or else there's no one cares. cares. Nobody cares. Because they're 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 focused on making themselves feel like other people care about them. Yeah. yeah. So I literally tweeted that last week. I said nobody cares until everybody cares. Exactly. That probably went over a few people's heads, but yo. You gotta make these motherfuckers care, and then when the right person cares, it's then then everyone cares. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So just uh, facts. Just facts. keep kicking Big that facts. door down. Yeah. Man, seven. Thank you, bro. Yo, thank you for having me, bro. Yep. Seven. Let's if you could shout out your social media yeah, real shout quick, your just social media. Follow, follow you. <laughs> Yo, it's at Seven Thomas everywhere. At Seven Yo, can Thomas. Can we do a, one black, one blabber? You want to do one? one at least do one. one. You got time for one critique? With, with, one black of crab. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's do, do it. One. All right, let's let's fit one in. So we got this uh, segment called Blapper Crap, yeah, where we just choose a random beat from mm-hmm. like an upcoming producer. Mm-hmm. We like it, we give it a blap. If we don't, we give it a crap. Okay, and then you can give like con- constructive criticism if okay. you want. Yeah, yeah. But it's on some lighthearted Ooh, shit, like Atlas guy. be shitting on. Yeah, he on be people, shitting on people, you know and don't I mean? feel bad. I just know like, when I hear Alice it. Be shitting <laughs> on people. I can't Alice explain so it. Mean. I can't Three explain seconds. it. Alice is fucked up. Three seconds into the track, Atlas is like, and you know what? When I be crapping, so does everybody else. Yo, it's it's that A and R mentality, bro. You only got, got 30 seconds My man. Or less Seven, seven. 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 You, you okay. can know in like Five thank you, seven. seconds Seven seconds or less seven. My man All right. Seven Mike Thomas Dan You heard it from him first All right. Let's this go is a shoot. This, is a, this is a crap shoot right here So right. this is um, Random 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 This is uh, 
Architect Beats. Who got blessed real quick? From Architect London. Beats. This is from London. From oh, London. Okay. London. Okay. Okay. Let's London. go. <laughs> <laughs> International team. <laughs> I know that sample. Booty loops. Booty loops. Okay. That was me. Yeah. I'll oh, say man. It. oh man. Well I already tell you now though, snare is mad. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um should I just Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, okay. First of all, you guys are mean. For are saying blab or crap. <laughs> <laughs> like you only have two. It's either hot it's or it's either, yeah, either okay. hot or it's not. How will they know? Okay. All right, all right. Architect beats. Believe it or not, people like getting crapped. Yeah. They're yeah. like, yo, yo what's up, man? Yo, you crapped my beat, man. Thank you. Yeah. It's oh, like a whole thing. All right. So, all right. Sev, you want to start right. that off? Yeah. I could either give a political answer or. or Say whatever well, you want to real in, man. All right. Fuck it. Yo. For real. Honestly, bro. Is it a black or <laughs> crap? I already know, bro. Is Come it a no, black no, no, no. Start with honestly, bro. bro. Listen, listen, listen. And you listen. can't black potential. Is no, that a black or crap? Architect beats? Architect. Yes. Architect beats, bro. What I would do is I would personally just get my kit game up you know what i'm saying yeah, go out there yeah. go shopping get the kits get get go the ill mind black, black com, kids you know, <laughs> you know what i'm saying go shop and um yeah get get your your kit game up bro because you know the sequence isn't bad but the sound selection isn't the best right you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so if you replace those sounds and um you know if you pay more attention to you know the 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 way how the 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 drums come through the mix i i feel like you you'll be going places bro so you know i'm not gonna say it's crap because you know what i'm saying like i don't want to shoot down your dreams or anything but i'll just say like bro just just stay tweak focused it. stay at it tweak it up a little bit you know what i mean <laughs> like i said get your kit game up black kits blackkits.com mm-hmm. go get that go game. get that shit go get volume five <laughs> yeah some sauce and, and architect on. beats you'll be out here you know what i'm saying exactly yeah, yeah. atlas go for it yeah it was cool <laughs> It was cool. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know, I thought the sample when 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 the sample came on, I was like, you know, I was waiting for it. I was, I was like, okay, yeah, I was intrigued. I was like, this is going somewhere. But then when that programming came in, yeah, Bobby, yeah. I don't know, yeah. Bobby. Bobby. I don't Bobby. know. So I'm gonna crap it go. for that. I'm gonna crap it for okay. that. Yeah. But uh, but it was close. It was yeah. close. It definitely I had like potential. Close? It, it, it was wasn't close. close at all for me. Close? It was close. I, I crap it. I'm, I'm gonna crap that, mm-hmm. and I'm surprised that he said that that was close. That cool. It was close because I, I like the sample. Like cool. I love the honesty. I like the sample. Nah, nah. <laughs> we've had <laughs> nah, nah. cool. He goes hard, and we've had you guys are going hard. They go hard too. You see, they be hating on me. We've had more fire shit. Wait, we've had more fire. Your shit and he'll he'll, he'll crap be like, ah, it. So uh, for me, fam. <laughs> yeah. So I so wanna, I'm surprised that you said it's close, listen, but it's not a bad beat. But I'm gonna crap it. I think when it first came in, you know, it was cool. I was trying to see where it was going, right. but I, I was expecting a harder drop. Of course. Oh. And when yeah. those drums came in, it was just like it was very underwhelming. Yeah. So the those sample. Were ashy. <laughs> yeah, it was a little, it was a little key. The sound was, 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 like, was, was ashy. Yeah, was a little ashy. yeah like you know, yeah. even like I liked it. Like the sample was way louder than the drums. The drums were too mm-hmm. tucked. Mm-hmm. They just didn't go together. Mm-hmm. Like I agree, just get your kick game up and also like you know get your mix a little better. Like yeah. your levels. You yeah. Know, know yeah. how your snare is supposed to sound compared to your kick or your sample because that all your drums were really tucked and it was just yeah. a lot going on. It was a lot going honest, on yeah. for me. That hi hat. He, he yeah. got to he got to pick his favorite beat. And reference it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Reference the mix. I yeah. always tell exactly. them go back and listen. To, like when I'm making beats, it's like I always reference what you listen to. Yeah. Like, right. yeah. And why do I like that beat? Why yeah. does it knock that way? How do I get my shit to knock like that? Okay. What is okay? Hit up so and so. Yeah. Twitter does its thing. Yeah. All you gotta do is yeah. tweet. Like, yo, can you give me some? Somebody got samples. Somebody got this. Got that. Yeah. Anywhere. The yeah. internet. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. shop for yeah. your exactly. sounds though. How yeah. old is Architect Beats? Does it say? Uh, it doesn't say his age. I wish it did because some people saw it, London like, no You'd be surprised. Twelve. Well. But he you got Rick and Morty. Old, he like, got the, the little AV But you'll be surprised. But yeah, I don't think it was a 
whack beat. You yeah. know, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. Bad. I saw the direction he was going, but there were changes that I think he could make, like yeah. simplifying mm-hmm. it a bit. Like you said, the hi hat it was just it was too crazy. If, if you're if you're under twenty five, you got time, bro. Don't worry. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. If you're twenty five and a half, it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta if you're move a day quick. older than twenty five, it's, it's over, bro. Yeah. You gotta move no. quick. Um, good shit, man. But uh, yeah, you know, I gotta keep it political as well. So they said it all. Yeah, Crap. good job, Bill. Yeah, let me give myself a little fart bun. Um, <laughs> he seven. loves that fart bun. Thank you, man. Yo, thanks, thanks for, for having me, guys. Oh, let's get one more round of applause. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Can't wait to hear the shit. Go get that Carter Carter Five album. Yes, sir. Out now. Mm-hmm. Seven's on there, and uh, we go right out the year. I know you got more shit coming. Yeah, hell so, yeah. So you know, let's get it. And we really gotta do something for real. Of course, like <laughs> in the not? flesh for real. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we out here. Episode eighty four. Eighty four. Episode eighty four. Peace. Later. Peace. Yes, yes.